Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Right before I leave town, I have the honor and excitement and maybe privilege of opening a six star crystal. Now of course it could also be pure sadness and disappointment. The last six star I opened, I mean, I have some nostalgia for because he helped me against the collector years ago as a SIG 99 four star. And he is very close to the bottom. But I awakened my OG Daredevil, which I know feels like a really bad pool. And I guess compared to a lot of other pools, especially my top sought after six star pool, it is a bad pool. But, you know, platinum star is a platinum star, as they say. And so I was more thankful for it than I could be. I'm one new six star away from forming another arena team. So I'd love for this to be a new champion. And if it's going to be a new champion, let's talk about some top choices. Archangel, of course. Ant-Man remains a synergy goal for Ghost. Please don't touch that synergy, Kabam, if and when you decide to buff Ant-Man. Black Widow Clairvoyant. Black Widow Deadly Origin. Colossus. Cosmic Ghost Rider. And then, let's be honest, it is all about this guy. Prof. Why Nick Fury? Well, besides the insane bleed damage, I must say that I have been saving since July 4th, which somehow the calendar tells me was three months ago. How is that possible? I've been saving this, this six-star generic awakening gem for Nick Fury. So please, Kabam, Nick Fury or Black Widow Clairvoyant or Black Widow Deadly Origin or maybe Archangel... The crazy thing is I don't have any more six-star Awakening Gems in my roster, which is one of the first times I've filmed a six-star opening where I can say that because I used my Mutant one on now who is SIG 200 six-star Omega Red, who has been as exciting as I hoped he would be. So there you go. Um, okay. Out of all the champions that are now the top prize in this, shang Shi, I think, is my top goal. That would be amazing. That would be quite the new six-star champion to add to that final arena team slash rank up eventually. So we are going to do the double pet method, which is my favorite number, which is backing out four times. That's three, I believe, and that's four. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, and drop. Let's see if we can see Shang-Chi in the real, huh? That would be real positive. Come on. Come on, Nick Fury. Come on, Black Widow. Clairvoyant. Come on, First Time Awakening of Red Hulk, Red Mags, Warlock. Nick Fury at the top of the list. Awakening of Captain America Infinity War. Shout out to my man, Captain Bay. I'd love to put 20 more SIGs on Void. All right, Crystal, slowing down. What's up, Aegon? A bunch of Winter Soldiers and Psylocke? Do I have... I think I already have Psylocke. No, I don't have Psylocke. Well, it's a new champion. Some of you have told me that Psylocke is underrated, especially by me. And that I should be more excited to talk about Psylocke than I am. I We do know somebody who once took Psylocke to rank 3 to become Thronebreaker. Which remains one of the most controversial Thronebreaker rankups I've ever seen. We're up there with Rocket Raccoon or Groot. But, uh... What do you think? How should I feel about this six-star pull? I, I'm thankful for the arena points, and that's pretty much where I stand on my emotions for this. But I got to open a new champion and form that arena team before I leave town, so I'm thankful for that. Thanks for watching my channel, especially while I'm gone to this wedding. I rarely, rarely take vacation days, and I'll still be working, so it's a kind of a weird way to call it a vacation, but it's not in Oklahoma, so that's the vacation part of it. Have a good day, YouTube. Take care.